all right. Okay? Uh, no, I'm not. You still feel sick? I feel terrible. I'm not surprised. They had to pump your stomach so you wouldn't get alcohol poisoning. Oh, God. They took it off in the limo and cleaned out the, the mini bar. Sage off to camp, okay? Well, she got on the bus with all her friends. She waved at me and never looked back. It looked like she was going to have a blast. Oh, good. She deserves it. Yeah, and honestly, I'm kind of glad she's getting out of town for a while. She's got to concentrate on being a kid again. She shouldn't have to worry about her mother. Yeah, well, Parker's already been on the phone twice to the hospital. Really? Any changes? Apparently, she's well enough to be released later, and Craig's with her. Well, that doesn't exactly put my mind at ease. But you know what? Craig's the least of my problems right now. I, I just got to protect Parker. I know. I managed to convince him that his mother would not need him today, so I told him to take advantage of the farm while he's here, and he went horseback riding with Liberty. Well, thank you. Eh, it's the least I could do. No, no, it's not. I know how you feel about Parker and Liberty. Hanging I know, I know, I know, but they are family after all. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, he really needs a friend right now. So, who knows? Maybe enough time has passed where they can be friends. I, I certainly hope so. This could be good for both of them. You're right. Hosanna. Hi. Hey, come on in. <coughs> Thank you. Hi. What's Hi. going on? Well, um, I need your help. Carly's getting out of the hospital, and, um, she's in a bad way. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure there's, there's all that much I can do. She needs you, Jack. Now, more than ever. I thought we were gonna lose you. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I swear to you, it'll never happen again. I should have known that this was too much for you to handle no, right now. don't do that. None of this is your fault. Now, I should have insisted Wait. that we wait. I knew there were too many unresolved issues for you. But I promise you, we're going to get you the help you need. You're all I need. If I have you, I know I'll be fine. I'll be there for you, Carly. I promise I'll always take care of you. You don't know how good it feels to hear you say that. You can count on it. Good. And get me out of here. I want to go home. We need to get Carly into a program, thank you, not just meetings where she can drop in and out. She needs to go to rehab. Okay. So we have to be really strong on this. We can't let her talk her way out of it this time. Whoa, well, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean, we? Jack and Carly aren't married anymore. His responsibility is to the children. That's it. Well, yeah, maybe legally, but they were married for a very long time. They shared a life together. Their children aren't exactly a separate issue. I mean, Carly's well-being is important to the children, so it should be important to Jack. Of course too. it's important Jack to me, Rosette. Listen, I know you don't like me being pulled back into Carly's craziness, but this time, Janet, come on, it's different. What do you need me to do? I just need you to come with me to the hospital and make sure that Carly goes into right. a rehab. I will be there. Jim, just give us a minute, please, Rosanna. Yeah, yeah, sure, and thank you. You and I both know that Carly is not going to agree to going into a rehab without putting up one hell of a fight. Now, listen, the kids are upset. They are. And what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to uh, throw my hands up in the air like Carly sink or swim? What kind of message is that sending? You are a great father. And you have to do what is right. But I can't help but feel that Carly's problems are a bottomless pit. Yeah, but I'm not going to get swallowed up. Oh, my God, Carly. you say that every time. And then Mel Carly erupts, oh, and Jack is never going to be seen The last thing I want again. to do today is go to the hospital and deal with Carly's stuff. But the one way I'm going to get through it is knowing that I have you to come home to. That makes it so much easier for me, knowing that I have a loving, caring, understanding, sane wife. I don't know what I'd do without you. 
Mm. Did you ask about getting my release papers? Well, there's no rush. The doctor hasn't come in to see you yet. I don't need to see the doctor. I'm fine. I just want to go home and see my kids. And your kids are fine. Sage is off to camp. Parker's staying at the farm. You need to take care of yourself now. Which I can do at home. Hey! You look so much better. Thank you. What are, are you two doing here? Oh, well, we just thought we would stop by to cheer you up, right? We didn't need to bring those. I'm not staying. We're just waiting to hear what the doctor has to say. Hmm. He'll say that I can go home. What else would he say? Well, you know, Carly, you've... You've been through a lot. And I've learned my lesson. What does that mean, exactly? It means that it won't happen again. That I was stressed out. I let myself get overwhelmed with all, all the details of the wedding, and I didn't... I didn't realize what I was doing. That's just not the case. I mean, Craig was the one who took care of all the details of the wedding, not you. Well, being a bride can be nerve-wracking enough, Rosanna, as you ought to know. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, can we, let's just tell the truth here. Can we? And what truth is that? You're an alcoholic, Carly. And you need to get help if you want to stop drinking. You're my sister. Don't need you coming in here and calling me names. Oh, honey, that's not what I'm doing. You put her up to this, didn't you? We're here because we care about you, Carly. Mm -hmm. We're worried. You told her that I was a a lost cause, right? And she believed you. Hey, listen, if I if I believed that you were a lost cause, I wouldn't even be here. But Rosanna asked me to come along because she thought she might need help convincing you to go into treatment. I don't, I don't need treatment. Craig, would you tell them? Carly, they're right. You do need help. I, I, I don't believe that you're turning on me, too. I'm not turning not on five you. I'm minutes standing ago, by you. You said that you would do anything you could for me. Now you're going to walk away when I need you? Why would you do that? That's not what I'm doing. Yes, it is, if you're siding with them. You're, you're all in this together. You want to punish me? Well, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you run my life. I won't. No, get off me. Carly, calm down. You can't just walk out of the hospital until the doctor examines you. That's ridiculous. I'm not sick. I'm fine. It's just procedure. And then we can sign the release forms, okay? Do you mean that? Or are you just sawing so these two can drag me off to rehab? That's not... We're here because we love you. Because you have a disease and all you have to do is admit it if you want to get well again. You want me to feel ashamed? I won't do that. We want you to get better. And one way to start is to think about the people who are counting on you, Carly. Think about what this is doing to Parker and Sage. Seeing their mother go through this. Are they okay? Parker's... He's fine. He's coping. And Sage will be better off at camp this summer. She needed to get away. Camp will be good for her. And Parker, I'm, I know he'll be all right. He's worried about you, though. So is Sage. Wouldn't you like to show her that you're doing the right thing and you're taking care of yourself while she's away? Huh? Wouldn't, wouldn't you like to be 100% when she gets home? I'm going to be fine. N not if you don't get the help you need. Oh, don't tell me what I need. Okay, why don't we all just take a break? Oh, I just okay? want to get out of here. Please. Finally. Great. Why don't we ask the doctor what he thinks about you going home? Everything all right here? Oh, it will be. As soon as you give me the okay to get out of here. If you don't mind waiting outside. 